After using this controller for some time, I can easily say that the Bayonetta Azura 2 Pro controller is the best budget controller for PC gaming. Let's talk about it. Hey, how's it going everyone? So this is going to be the unboxing of the Bayonetta Azura 2 Pro wireless controller. So this controller is apparently compatible with the PC and TVs is what's advertised. And also this controller has two back buttons and it's a wireless controller, but it also can be used wirelessly. So let's open up the box and let's see what's inside. Okay, so let's open up this box and see what we get. So it looks like the first thing you get is a Bayonetta Asura 2 Pro booklet. Looks like it will show you all of the button configurations for this controller. Um, looks like more configuration, back plus B to turn it off, turbo functions, how to connect to your PC, how to connect to your TV. Looks like it comes with a software that you can download to help customize the controller, which is cool. And it looks similar to the Bayonetta Zeus controller that um, is our flagship controller. So I'm pretty sure I already got the software. So that's cool. And here we got the controller. Oh, wow. let's take these off. And... We're gonna pull this out. Oh, and here's the dongle. This is a very small dongle. So, but I'm gonna set this aside. Oh, and the cable's in here too. So, all right, so put that to the side. So it looks like we get the dongle. We have the gamepad, charging cable, USB-C to USB-A. And this is the controller. So I have to say like this controller reminds me of the, wow, this, this gives me nostalgic feelings of the Xbox 360 controller. If, yeah. So this controller definitely feels like an Xbox 360 controller. The ABXY feels nice. It honestly just reminds me of Xbox 360 controller, which is insane. D-pad is, doesn't feel bad. It's not like crazy or anything. Um, analog sticks, I feel a little bit of rubbing on this one, so. But they're good, it's just this one's a little, meh, like a little plastic probably around the ball. And yeah, this is the controller right here. Oh, get two Mapple buttons on the back, which is pretty cool. And this, oh. Nice. So you get a dedicated slot for the USB stick. Oh, and it goes different colors too. So it looks like it's trying to pair. Let's go uh, play some games, do some joystick testing. Let's just see how this controller feels. Cause honestly, this is definitely reminds me of a 360 controller. All right guys, so here we are in gamepad tester. So I have the controller connected wirelessly to my PC using a USB dongle. As you see, this is the controller right here and the first thing I noticed is that when I flick the sticks, like the sticks jump back perfectly to 0 0.0002 on all axes, which is really, really impressive for the, a controller at this price. So without further ado, let's test the joysticks and see how accurate these joysticks are. All right, we're going to do a circle and let's see how accurate these joysticks are. Wow. This is crazy. These controllers have a 0.9 error rate. These are some seriously accurate joysticks for a $50 controller. All right, hold on, let me do another test. So we're gonna clear this and we're gonna run the test again. I'm just wanna make sure. Yeah, these joysticks are a 0.9 error rate. Yeah, these are some seriously accurate joysticks. And also the fact that they snap back perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm very impressed, Banton, for a controller at $50. Like, yeah, these are some seriously accurate joysticks. So you know what that means, guys? You guys can put that zero dead zone mode on this on these joysticks and be perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm impressed. Let's move on to the next test. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna test the input latency of this controller. So right now, I'm using a USB dongle connected to my PC to connect this controller. And we're gonna do a thousand sample tests using the wireless dongle. So wireless dongle, let's see how fast you really are. All right, get my thumb ready and here we go. 
Got a nice little consistent rate. Wow. So looking at this controller, this controller has an average input latency of 2.92 milliseconds with a pulling rate of 342. For you guys that don't know, this controller is faster than most wired Xbox controllers. And this controller is wireless using the USB dongle. That is crazy. As a matter of fact, let me do one more test just to make sure. All right, guys, here we are about to do the second test. All right, second test results. I got 2.93 milliseconds input latency with a pulling rate of 340 with uh, only two or three outliers. So yeah, this controller is actually very, very good on input latency. Like this is crazy to me. This controller has is faster than most wired Xbox controllers and that is great. So let's test this controller with the wire connection. All right guys, so now I have the controller connected via wired connection. So we're about to do the same test with the wire connection and let's see what, res what results we get. So got my thumb ready, here we go. All right, so with the wire connection, I have an average of 2.87 milliseconds input latency with a pulling rate of 348. That is not much different from the dongle. And wow, this controller is a really, really, really fast controller for a $50 controller. Um, looks like uh, it's actually a lot more cleaned up looking at the charts compared to last time. With the wireless, there was a little bit more outliers with like five and six second milliseconds. But yeah, with the wire connection, it looks like it's a lot more cleaned up. But yeah, 2.87 milliseconds with a 348 pulling rate. Yeah, this controller, without a doubt, is one of the fastest controllers you can use on PC and is honestly faster than most wired Xbox controllers. So yeah, I definitely recommend this controller. Okay, so just like all the other Bayaton controllers, the Bayaton Azura 2 Pro controller is compatible with the BTOP game app for all the Bayaton controllers. So. Let's start that up. Also, when you start up the app, make sure that the controller is hooked up to your PC using a wire connection. You will not be able to configure this controller using a USB dongle, which is kind of a bummer, so, but not a big deal. Anyway, this app will allow you to do all the basic functions that you can do with most controllers. You're able to change the color of the little ring light right here, so you can pick between one of the mini colors, and you can also add ability to make it just regular light, or you can have a breathing effect on it. You also can control the vibration strength for the left side of the controller and the right side of the controller if you want to. You can map all of the buttons on the controller, and you can, and this is where you will map the two back buttons on the controllers, and if you want, you can set macros for those two back buttons. This also allow you to control how strong or how fast you want the turbo to be. So right now I have my set for 10 times per second if I ever set turbo for one of the buttons. And also you can control the trigger dead zones. Right now I have mine at 2%. This app will allow you to control the joystick sensitivity curvature for both joysticks. As you see right now, I have it as a default and I have the joysticks and dead zone set to zero because this controller has some really, really good joysticks. So I have the luxury of having 0% dead zones on this controller. And the last functions are you allow to set when this controller can go to sleep after non operations. Right now I have mine set to 10 minutes. You can also calibrate the joysticks if you ever need to calibrate them and you can calibrate the triggers if you need to. So basically the app gives you all the basic functions that you need for this controller. And honestly, like it's a good app. It does what it's supposed to do. So yeah. Okay, so I have owned the Banton Azura 2 Pro controller for about three months now. And I have to say, I really do like this controller because this controller has very accurate joysticks. I was able to set the joysticks to zero dead zone mode, which was really good in games like Call of Duty. I had very, very accurate shots with this controller. And because of the wireless dongle having such a low input latency, I had no issues responding to enemies when they ever pop up a screen or run around the corner. Also, the low input latency was really good for games like High Five Rush, for example. I was able to attack on beat with no problems and I never once had an issue using this controller with the wireless dongle. The triggers, they perform okay. I mean, they're just basic linear uh, analog triggers. Playing, using them in racing games, they perform perfectly fine. And I have to say for the Bayaton Azura 2 Pro controller, it is just all around a really great controller to use on PC. 
Okay, so if I was to give this controller a rating from one through 10, I will say that the Bayaton Azura 2 Pro controller gets a solid nine out of 10 for me. The reason why I will say that this controller is a nine out of 10 for me, because for $50, this controller has very, very accurate joysticks. And also one of the biggest things about this controller is that the input latency for this controller using a USB dongle is lower than the input latency for most wire controllers that you use on PC. Meaning that like for $50 that this is probably the fastest controller you can get on the market for $50, which is crazy to me. Also like it just, gets all the basic rights. Like the D-pad isn't that bad. I mean, it's slightly a little mushy, but it's an arrow D-pad. The buttons work perfectly fine and the linear analog triggers, they work perfectly fine. So I really don't have much complaints about this controller. I mean, the thumbsticks were probably a little bit uncomfortable. So I just put little rubber thumbstick grips on the joysticks. But other than that, yeah, like this controller is honestly a solid controller for $50. And during the time of the recording of this video, you can actually get this controller at a discounted price, which I highly recommend you do because like I said before, if you want a, a basic wireless P controller for PC that has very accurate joystick and has a low input latency wirelessly, then yes, get this controller. This is honestly the best budget controller for PC that is currently on the market. And I highly recommend that you guys get this controller if you're looking for a budget controller for PC. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. If you made it this far in the video, you clearly like this video. So you might as well hit that like button for me. And also don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So that way you guys will be notified when the next time I post another controller review or any other content that I decide to post on my YouTube channel. I do have some other controller reviews I'm currently working on, and there's actually one controller I'm waiting to come into the mail that I'm really, really excited for. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace.